Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to parse a dynamic JSON in Golang. To use a package called GAPS. GAPS is a small utility for dealing with dynamic or unknown JSON structure. So let's see. Package main. Function main. So we can take an example of an unstructured or you know dynamic JSON. So let's see an example what we have created. So I have already created an example. So let's copy this. So it's basically an unstructured uh, JSON, which we can see which has an employees and it, it has an address and I have an ID and ID. I have two IDs with first name, Kevin, George, Gordon and Thomas. So this is what my unstructured JSON looks like in, in Golang. Let's see how we can unmarshal this JSON in Golang are using a package called gaps so let's see how we can do that json parsed we'll use gaps dot parse json data if error not equals to nil we can say panic error Okay, now we need as some search JSON. So let's see some search JSON. Fmt.println. We can say uh, get value get value of country. Comma JSON. So we would need the country value parsed dot search where would it search it would search in employees where would it it would search in employees address country comma data okay now we can copy the same thing and make the necessary change so now what we would need we would also check for id of the employee id of first employee okay and we will have this as path and employees so where the path would be we need to give a path employees dot employee dot zero dot id okay because it's first so we are looking for the first employee so that's why it's zero dot id now what now we would check for the and this would be a string the country check the country exist we can say this as exists Let's say employees and address so and we would need a country code so this would be our search json it the address object so iterating an address object for key comma child into a range json past past dot dot search what do we need to search and that we need employee comma address dot children We can say fmd dot printf key equals to greater than
child dot data similarly we can have for child range json parsed dot search employees comma employee dot children we can say fmt dot print line child dot data this is iterating employee array and now we can copy this now we can copy this to use index in our search so index in our search would be added here as a comma zero package to be installed so let's so let's install our package go get github.com slash jfl slash gaps perfect and now let's see if this page we will have cafe now let's run this go run main dot go perfect so we have so this is an example of unmarshalling dynamic json and or we can say unknown json structure in go so, so this is an iterating employee array and here we have used an index in our search so guys if you like my video do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching